we're going to slide up the actual clamping band. So this clamping band here, we're going to slide up until we stop right there on that plug. And then all you've got to do is just twist the screwdriver and it's going to pry up on that flat, flat edge there. And as you twist it, it'll pop up and pop free like that. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now one of the questions I get a ton on, especially on Ocean Reef products, is about the extender frame and how do you install and uninstall the extender frame from your mask. Now if you buy certain models, say the new Neptune 3 or the Space Extender or the say even the Predator Extender or whatnot, they already come pre-installed on the mask. There's a couple of things that we're going to discuss in this video, but primarily I'm going to be showing you how to install and, un and uninstall it without damaging the system itself. And of course anytime that I add something personally to my extender frame, I like to take it off of the mask before I drill holes and stuff in it. That way I don't run the risk of damaging my visor or even damaging the skirt of the mask. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video and I'll show you just how easy it is to install and uninstall your extender frame. Alright guys, so I've just got my Neptune 3 here and you'll notice I do have the extender frame off. Now the reason I took it off is not actually for this video. I used this mask very recently in a video where I used the HOA helmet from Ocean Reef. And unfortunately, you can't use the helmet and the extender frame at the same time. There's just simply not enough room for it. So anytime you use the helmet, of course, you're going to have to take the extender frame off. But I do want to talk very quickly about the different models that can take the extender frame. Any of the models that have this plastic ring that goes around or this plastic clamp can actually take the extender frame. If you have, say, the iron mask that has the metal clamp, you're not going to be able to use the extender frame with it. Now, if you do have the iron mask and you want the ability to mount lights and cameras and things like that, all you've got to do is change out the metal clamp system for the plastic clamp system, then the extender frame will very easily snap on. Now, when you go to install, there's a couple of different things that I actually do. One, I make note of where this little gap is right here. So you got this little block piece and you got this gap. That channel there is meant to snap over the top of the visor, the clamp, and the skirt as well. So I'm always going to start at the top and I'm very gently just kind of snap it over the top. There is some flex in this, but I want you to understand it is plastic, so you don't want to just bend it out till it breaks. But there is a little bit of flex there. And what I like to do is just kind of flex it out with my mask oriented in the upright position. And all I'm going to do is slide the visor, the clamp, and the skirt into that groove. And I'm going to get everything lined up. And I'm going to simply slide it in until it kind of locks on. Once I know that I've got it in position, it'll kind of hold itself there. As you can see, I can pull up and it's going to take a little bit of force to get off. That lets me know that I've got it locked in where it needs to be. Now that that's done, before I snap anything into place, I'm going to use these strap systems here to kind of pull them up through the grooves, like so. And the top is essentially done. Now all I've got to do is slide it down into position. I'm going to work the straps down as well. So here on the side, I'm going to pull that strap through, like so. Once that's in, the top's in, that side's in, I can go ahead and snap this in into position. So I'm going to start at the top, just squeeze. It snapped on, squeeze on the bottom. It snapped on, and then I'm going to repeat the process over here on this side. So I'm going to get me a little play. I'm going to slide my strap system up in it. Go over the top. Get that buckle through. Once it's through, start on the top. Snap. Put it on the bottom. Snap. Give it a quick once over. I notice that that groove I talked about is sitting right over the top of the visor, the clamp, and the skirt. All of my straps are accessible, and just like that, that's how you install it. Now let's learn how you uninstall it. All right, guys, now when we go to uninstall it, there's actually two different methods. There's the method that I've used since they came out with the extender frame, and then there's the screwdriver method that Ocean Reef actually recommends. I'm going to actually show you both methods, although I would encourage you to use the screwdriver method. That is what Ocean Reef actually recommends. But my method is very simple. I just take three fingers, and I'm going to reach as far up into this plug area as I can 
and I'm just going to kind of roll the palm of my hand as the pivot point, and I'm just going to peel up until it pops off just like that. Now the next one's a little bit harder. I can't get my hand all the way up in there from the, the lower side. So I'm going to come over here from the side. And once again, I'm going to put the palm of my hand as a pivot point right here where the little plug is and just pry up on it like so. And as you can see, both popped right off. Now what you do want to be careful of is if you do this method, you are going to run the risk of breaking these little insert pieces here. Now if you do break them, they are replaceable. It's not a big deal, but obviously we want to protect them. So now let me show you what Ocean Reef actually recommends. You're going to get the largest flathead screwdriver that you got in your garage, preferably a big wide one. And I prefer a long shafted one here. We're going to slide up the actual clamping band. So this clamping band here, we're going to slide up until we stop right there on that plug. And then all you've got to do is just twist the screwdriver and it's going to pry up on that flat, flat edge there. And as you twist it, it'll pop up and pop free like that. Now here's where the screwdriver is really going to shine through. You can slide it on up the clamping band to that next plug and you're going to be able to pop it just by twisting the screwdriver like that. You'll hear it pop right off. Now all four of those are free. You're just going to reverse how you put it on. So we're going to take a strap out. We're going to work our way from the bottom, taking a strap out, and eventually the extender frame comes clean off. And if we look, both methods preserved the little plugs. Although Ocean Reef recommends, I too would recommend using the screwdriver versus the prying method. Just remember, whichever method you do, just put a little bit of pressure. It doesn't take much pressure at all for those plugs to pop on and off. What you don't want to do is break these plugs, so be careful. But that's how we install and uninstall the extender frame from the Ocean Reef Mass System. So there you go guys, that's how easy it is to install and uninstall the extender frame, especially if you've already received a brand new mass that has it on, you may want to take it off before you start drilling into this frame to add accessories, flashlights, cameras like that. Or you may need to take it off if you're going to be using the helmet from Ocean Reef as well. Whatever system you decide to go with, at least you can get in there and adjust it the way you need it. And then once again, it's very easy to just snap back on. Start from the top, get it lined up. Pull your straps through one at a time, start at the top button, lower button, and then you should be good to go. But guys, if you found this video helpful, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on Ocean Reef or their products, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out the best I can as quick as I can as well. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.